guys we're back with more dragon ball we are on episode 100 and four <laughs> 104 and this is called Ark of the Demon! Yeah! You know, when said demon has killed our boy Krillin, which is unfortunate, and we need him to go down. Uh, but Goku is also down for the count right now, which is also unfortunate. Uh, Roshi is very scared, and he doesn't know what to do, and he's already counting Goku out, too. He's like, yeah, sorry, Goku's gone. Which is... Not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know how he's going to possibly trap King Piccolo or whatever. But the thing is, though, King Piccolo's minions are killing all these people. Like, we haven't even seen King Piccolo's strength yet. We just see his, the power of his minions. So this is really unfortunate. We're going to check this episode out. But a lot is going on. Let's check it out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Bacterium is back! <laughs> oh shit, is Bacterium homeless? I mean, I guess that would... I mean... Whoa! He can just shock him like that? He can do Roshi's technique! Uh, if there's someone I'm happy is kind of like not coming back, I guess it would be Bacteria. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like crying for his death. <laughs> that that fight with Krillin was foul. You okay, buddy? <laughs> oh. The mark of the demon. <laughs> Read the word, buddy. Uh, he got. <laughs> He got juice. We got juice for him. I uh I brought your melon soda, oh great one. <gasps> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fabulous, actually. What? He has soda. I thought they just drink water. Damn. It must be nice coming to Earth and having some like sugar. Ew, wait, I don't think they really needed to like show scenes of him swallowing it. <laughs> Why do I have to see that? Back to the matter at hand, Piccolo. Okay. We still have to retrieve the rest of the Dragon Balls. I have no choice. I must make another warrior. <laughs> What? He's not gonna do that weird thing again, is he? Afraid so. Well, there goes my lunch. What does he mean by that? You know when you lay eggs, it speeds up your aging process. At the rate you're going, you'll die before oh. you'll be able to take over the world. Oh, he old! Once I obtain all of the Dragon Balls, aging won't be a problem. When I've made my wish, I will be eternally young. Now to create my new warrior. His sole purpose must be the collecting of Dragon Balls. Oh, is he gonna make his son right now? He's gonna make Piccolo Jr.? Rise and form to serve your master. Rise and form to serve your master. Rise and form to serve your master. I'm sure a lot of people look like that when they're taking a shit. Rise and form to serve your master. Rise and form to serve your master. Sounding like Baba. Oh! Yeah, there's definitely a lot of people who look like that when they're taking a shit. <laughs> Oh, he's late. Oh my gosh! I'm um, their reaction. Ew. That was graphic. <laughs> that was too much. Congratulations. So, does it have a name? His name is Simba, my child of darkness. A musical instrument. Didn't see that one coming, Piccolo. Oh, symbol. My symbol of darkness. Oh! 
I was like, what? Is okay. Yeah, I do know that Piccolo gets hatched. J Piccolo Jr. gets hatched, like, as a last resort when he's about to get killed. Hello. Who do you serve, child? I serve my lord. I serve Piccolo now. Okay. So well, that's his son. Tambourine is his son. Shouldn't we be the ones giving out the orders? After all, who huh. arrived home here? He should be serving us. Oh, brother. Shh, quiet. He hears everything. Yeah, he does. Piccolo takes over the world. He'll give us half of it out of gratitude. <laughs> right? That's funny. <laughs> I uh, meant a quarter. Uh, a small city, maybe? I am not even a city. <laughs> huh? Huh? Where am I? Damn, Goku doesn't even look that bent out of shape. Oh, gosh, why does my head hurt so much? That's it? That's, that's, he's okay. Uh, 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 Goku, you should be uh, paralyzed, not gonna lie. Oh, that's crazy. No. My stomach. Oh, the only thing that Goku's worried about is freaking his hunger. He just needs to eat. <laughs> of course. Oh boy! <laughs> what? Lunch! Lunch! <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's like Mario. Dragon balls. Huh. And you're telling us if you get all seven. Any wish you make comes true? Yep. Okay, Bulma, I like her outfit. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, gosh. I know this is gonna sound bad, but I really think we should use the wish to defeat Piccolo. There's no way we can beat him on our own. I know we have to bring Krillin back, but that monster's unstoppable. Well, if you ask me, the whole idea of bringing him back sounds creepy. Maybe we should just leave him alone. Uh, oh, gee, pals, thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, let's see. I could make a freezer capsule to preserve them until we find the Dragon Balls again. What? Pale, pale gray. What? Who is pale gray? Wait, is this pale gray a great warrior, Master? No, no it's her underwear. Nothing like that. Pale gray is the color of Bulma's panties. Hmm? You were staring at my underwear the whole time? No, I started at your knees. More cocoa, anyone? I'm already up. It sounds good, actually. There were three more killings of world-class martial arts fighters. Come here. This time, Listen. three warriors were added to the. <gasps> See, look how passionate launches. Well, it's already begun. Mm -hmm. Yup. I hear flights to the Caribbean are cheap this time of year. Mhm. Mm how long would it take you to construct another Dragon Ball radar? Mm hmm. Well, if I hurry, about half a day, I guess. We'll leave as soon as you're finished. And this is why Bulma is the most important character in Dragon Ball. Everyone would be lost without her. They wouldn't be able to get Dragon Balls, really. Wouldn't be able to track people down. They even tracked down Goku when he went to the Red Ribbon Army. All that stuff. Everything. I'm glad you're here, Tien. We'll need your strength. But if Goku couldn't stop him, I don't know that I'll be much help, Master Roshi. But Goku's still alive. Oh, please let our little Goku still be alive. Goku's just hungry right now. Don't worry. Look at him. Look at him. Lunch! <laughs> Something smells good. Something smells great. <laughs> what? What is it? What is it? Fishies! Dude, it's beautiful. It's a big fish. It's beautiful. <laughs> Lunch! The fire, Goku. The fire. <laughs> Goku! <laughs> Is he eating? <laughs> He's eating! Food! Well, who says this? Who's, who's, he's not near the other Dragon Ball or anything, right? Is that symbol? Uh-uh, okay. No. Who 
those fish is that? It's not, I don't think they uh, eat food symbol or anything, so I don't know whose fish is that supposed to be. You ever thinking about that, Goku, huh? Whose food you just took? <laughs> they were they were cooking it up for a reason, right? <laughs> Damn. Oh wow. I'm back to full strength. <laughs> now he's ready to take him on. You're mine! Krillin will be revenged! Now I remember he destroyed the Nimbus Cloud! <laughs> yep. Wait, no, Nimbus is still alive. Call Nimbus, Goku! Call Nimbus! <laughs> you think you got away, but you took my Dragon Ball! Ha! And with Bulma's Dragon Ball radar, I know just where to find you. Yep. Aww, huh? Uh, the symbol's gonna be right here. I can't believe it! Tambourine's right around here somewhere! Okay. Unless. Where are you? Come out! Un mm, unless. Go Goku has a Dragon Ball with him? No. But symbol should be around here. <coughs> what the hell? Yajirobe! Holy, I was trying to think, like, who the hell is that? That was his big fish, Goku! I'm not a coward! You're the sneak that stole my food! Huh? <laughs> That's right! That fish was my dinner and you ate it! Yeah. But somebody left it! There, on that stick! Goku. I was cooking it on that stick, you idiot! Hmm? Out of the fish fry and Come on, the Goku! Fire. No way Goku doesn't know that. He was just he's just trying to act. I don't know. I don't buy this whole like ignorance, uh, innocent look. Goku knew. Goku knew. You cannot tell me otherwise. But Goku was just thinking with his stomach fully and wanted to eat it regardless. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but yes, enter Yajirobe. Oh my gosh. Yes. I mean, I have no idea about Yajirobe. I don't know a damn thing about Yajirobe. Keep. Let's keep it real. Not a thing. Like I, I just know I just know him from that one time where he just cuts <laughs> he just cuts um Vegeta's tail and then we never see him again really except with Corrin. He's just like there. <laughs> Other than that, like why is he even here? Like what is his purpose? Like I never really understood why he, like what's he about? Like what's his character? Why like you know what I mean? He's just like entered. That's what I'm saying. If launch was here as a character in Z. I think she would have had a really cool, funny moment. Just one cool, funny moment in Z. I actually really like Launch. Like, I genuinely do like Launch, actually. And the more time that, like, y not in the beginning. I didn't really care for Launch all too much. But, like, I actually like the blonde Launch more. Like, you kind of realize that she got a lot of character. Like, really. She honestly genuinely cares about the people, like, she's around. Like, she cares about Krillin a lot and Goku and all of them. You see her. She's super passionate about them, too. She, you know, she just misunderstood when she's trying to kill everyone. <laughs> but I actually do genuinely like Launch. Like, honestly, I actually am kind of upset that she wasn't brought back in Z. Because I think she would have had pretty cool moments. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think she's a really cool character. That's my personal opinion. Um, And yeah, that's it. <laughs> So I wonder what's going to happen next episode of the Ajirobe now that he is introduced. But that is it for this episode, of course. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Melon out.